Hey guys, how are we doing? So, uh, Biking Man Oman is coming up. I fly out in two days to Oman, which is going to be awesome because I actually, um, this race is so exciting for me because I actually grew up uh, many years in Oman as an expat, so I'm actually really excited to go back there. So the race is a thousand kilometer sprint race. It's majority road, but there is quite a lot of gravel sections in there. So I knew I was going to have to have a real badass bike to make this work and to make this race, you know, good for me. Time limit's five days. I'm hoping to be done in three or four, realistically. But first race of the season, coming out to this beautiful, from this beautiful UK weather into actual, like, kind of 30, 35 degree heat. It's going to be a big change for me. So anyway, back to the bike. This is my setup. Um, it is a Linsky Sportive Titanium. I've always ridden Thai, rode it last year in the Transcontinental, used it for my record for the most country cycled in seven days. It's light, it's quick, most importantly, it's comfortable, because comfort is such a big key in this game, guys. Everyone thinks you've got to be fast. You don't, you've got to be comfortable. That's why steel, titanium, that's why those bikes win more races than carbon. So that's just something to always think about when you're getting your setup ready. I haven't really changed the setup much from last year, though I have changed my stem to bring this a little bit higher just to compensate for some of the off-road sections and give me a little bit more control at the top and ease the, little, the back up a little bit there as well. Okay, so I'm using the new Altegra R8000 group set, which is just unbelievable. So I rode 105 last year and uh, then I, I jumped up to the new R8000 this year because the difference is just so much. Um, I love it. So I've got a... Uh, 52.36 at the front, 11.34 at the back, so I've got a huge range of gears there. You know, what they've done with the new R8000 as well is that, I don't know how they've done it, but they've made the chain line so smooth, so you're never cross-chaining or anything. It makes it beautiful to ride. Also on the end of here, what I've done is I've gone for the new Altegra pedals. Any weight you can take off your drive chain is key. It makes so much difference. So just say you took a kilo off your frame, We're talking hypothetically here, a kilo off your frame, you're going to lose a kilo on that. If you take a kilo off your drive train and all this weight that's moving inside the bike, then you can tie that by three. That's the difference it makes, a huge difference. So anyway, uh, gone for obviously long cage rear derailleur to compensate for the size of the big cassette. Don't really need a cassette like that in Norfolk, but <laughs> I will in Oman. It's a very hilly race. You're looking at roughly around 30 to 35,000 foot of elevation, if I'm correct. Um, on top of that, I've gone for the Altegra shifters as well. Also the hydraulic brakes. I wanted to go hydraulic. I did last year and I have done this year because it just stops on a pin. It's just phenomenal. You know, you brake and it works, especially in short races. It, it is just such a good system. And well, I love it. It's proven to me, crisp shift, Stops on a pin, happy days. You know, braking's important. People really underrate. You know, they say, oh, use caliper brakes. You, you know, you save 300 grams. Guys, 300 grams in your life, very, very different things, you know. So always think about your braking, especially when you're doing off-road styly stuff as well. That's really important. My wheels, this is probably the thing that I just love about this bike the most of them. They know I'm here. <laughs> Welcome to the UK. Um, Yes, yeah, so in my wheels, uh, I love these, you know, uh, they are the Durace 9170 carbon rims. They are just so good. Sorry, I'm just gonna let that siren go. That's painfully, painfully bad. It's actually started raining as well. I'll do this video, which is quite cool. So yeah, anyway. Um... <laughs> Welcome to King's Lynn. Um, Anyway, so back to my wheels. Um, they're the new Durace 9170 Disc C40s. Um, I love them. They're just so light, they're so fast, and they're just so strong as well. You know, they really can't fault them at all. They look beautiful. And one thing that you will find a lot these days with wheel manufacturers is to make things lighter, they sacrifice on quality and sustainability. This is something Shimano don't do, so they use proper bearings, big bearings, you know, the thing that's going to last you, you know, while you're out in the wilderness, that kind of thing. I'm a huge fan of the system they use, it's the Durace hubs. Uh, what's really cool about these wheels as well, not that they're super light and they're super strong, 
What's really cool about them is they're tubeless as well. So as you can see, I've got a tubeless setup here. So I'm using some 32C WTB exposures, awesome tires as you can see here. They've got a lovely tread pattern. Run tubeless so I can run lower PSI in pressures. And uh, also, it just means if you get a puncture, there's a lot more chance of it repairing itself. So you'd have to worry about carrying so many tubes and patches and all that crap. So, you know, you put a lot of trust in tubeless, but it's been in the mountain bike world for years. Why we haven't done this on road bikes yet? I'll never know. So yeah, like I say, the wheels are fantastic. Can't wait to actually give them a real test. I take them out for about 300 miles and they just, you know, even my times are phenomenally quick. <laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, they're insane. So pleased to have them on the bike. Uh, on top of that, I've gone for a Brooks saddle. Brooks uh, Vulcan rubber, as you see, it's very stretchy. It's Cambium C17, really like that. Two water bottle cages at the back and the profile design FC35 drink system at the front, which is a litre there altogether. So altogether, I've got two and a half litres worth of water and I always use a big frame bag so I can carry more if I'm going into the night. Uh, lighting, as you can see, I've got the Cati Volt 800 on the bracket on the front there. Really good light. I don't run a dyno don't rate I'd rather um it's not that I don't rate I've just never used them I've always been good with batteries and it's uh, I should be done in three or four days on this race I don't really I think I can get away with just the batteries I'm using without even charging them once to be fair so dead happy with that but lighting always good to have a good light having on a bracket a little bit of a low sense of gravity will go a long way for you trust me when you when you see all the cars flashing you because your lights are bright lower your light bring it down makes all the difference on the back two rear lights, one here, one at the bottom here. This is where I keep all my sleeping stuff. This is where I keep tools, spares, and day-to-day -day stuff. And this is where I keep my food. So normally I'll put a bit of tinfoil in just for little sweets, because I just love Haribo. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, handlebars, just come from standard 42 width bars, and uh, got some tri bars there as well. Not so much to get aero, just to get comfortable. That really is the key. Garmin mounts on the front there on the FC35 drink system. Comes the little bracket, it's quite nice so you can kind of see where you're going all the time. Sits lovely at the front there. Yeah, it's uh, exciting, so this is it. This is what I'm gonna be using on the Biking Man Ultra Race, guys. Any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the, the punishment I'm gonna be going through on the actual ride. <laughs> and enjoy, guys.